I am Becky Helms of thepinksamurai.com and for today's Enamel Pins 101 video we're going to be talking about launching. So there are lots of different ways to launch a product. I mean people teach courses on it. <laughs> um, but today we are going to be focused on the three kind of most common ones that I see in my kind of pin circles. So we are going to be talking about uh, what I call the WIP, the work in progress launch, the preview launch, and the surprise drop launch. So let's get into it. Okay, so for the work in progress launch, it's all about showing your audience the whole process. Like you show them sketches of your pins, you show them mock-ups, maybe you show time-lapse of you um, sketching it. Um, then you, you show them when you get them in, all your packaging, um, you show just end-to-end -end process of the whole thing. And I think this can be fun because you can get people's feedback while you're making the pin. So you can put up polls or um, just have people comment on what they like best. So then it's kind of a pin more tailored to what your audience likes, which can be helpful <laughs> when you want to know what people are actually going to buy. Um, I do think that it can get a little tedious sometimes, like if it takes you forever to draw it and finish something and, and get it out, if that's like all your Instagram feed is or all your emails are about, people can be like, yeah, okay, I've seen this and um, get a little bored of it. But if you do it right, then um, people will get really excited and then they'll get to see the final product and they'll buy it up and it'll be great because they've seen you all along the way and people love behind the scenes stuff. So I think that can be a fun way to launch. Okay, so my favorite way to launch is uh, what I call the preview launch. So this is uh, shortly before they, I actually put them up for sale, I will preview the picture. So I like to do the pins, just the back of the pins, so you see the outline and um, have people guess to see if they can tell what it is. And then um, over the course of, you know, uh, two weeks, one week, however long you choose, you kind of, you just show off that one pin at a time or collection at a time and kind of talk about your process and get people excited. So I will say you want to give people enough time to be excited and look forward and set their alarms and want to buy, but you don't want to give them so much time that people stop buying from your store altogether because <laughs> they're just waiting for that launch. That was something I learned the hard way. So uh, pick a time frame that works for you and your audience. Um, it really Really depends on your audience too so um just keep that in mind and kind of test the waters and see what works best for you in the preview method okay and the last one is a surprise drop so I feel I'm sorry I just don't think I'm cool enough to say like pin drop I'm just I don't know I'm not cool enough to use that word so I usually say release or launch <laughs> Um, but a surprise pin drop is just that, is you don't show anyone anything and then all of a sudden there's a pin, which can be really exciting. And I think it's good to mix it up with that sometimes. Um, but I do think it can be frustrating with the, if you're mainly using, I'm kind of assuming you're mainly using Instagram as a way to market your business. Um, but using that, it can be hard with the algorithm to do a surprise drop because you never know when people are gonna see that. Um, the good thing is you can send it to your email list and people on your email list will see it. <laughs> um, but it can be hard with the algorithm for a surprise drop. But then the people that do see it will get super excited and those people that see it immediately are probably more than likely the people that are super into your stuff anyway. So um, I think that'd be good. But because of that, I do think there's a little bit more follow up after the launch. like. After all of these launches, you're gonna wanna follow up and be like, hey, don't forget, I just launched these pins, check it out. But I think there needs to be a little bit more of that because there isn't um, kind of a bank of the work in progress content or the preview content that you can rely on people have seen, you know? Is that the right grammar? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so afterwards, you're gonna have to share a lot more pictures, I think, um, just so people are more aware of that pin. All right, so that's it. We've talked about work in progress launches, preview launches, and surprise 
10 drops. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. If you have anything launching or you've launched something, let us know below. I'd love to see your work. Um, we'd love to see what you're doing. I'd like the comments in this uh, particular video to be all about launching and, and sharing our stuff with people. So please leave it. Um, if you have any questions, I, I always try to answer them um, in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please, and hit subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.